The Sapta Koteshwar Temple complex is preparing for yet another transformation that is part of a rupees 7 crore heritage restoration project a first of its kind since the structure was listed as a protected monument by the Directorate of Archives and Archaeology of Goa in 1983 helmed by conservation architect Rahul Chamburkar and Nilesh Thakkar the initiative marks the 350th anniversary of Sapta Koteshwar Temple A 17th century rock plaque installed above the arch at the temple entrance carries an inscription in Devanagari pointing out the year in which the Maratha king ordered the construction of the temple. So this is during the Jirnodhar done by Chhatrapati Shivaji. So that's a plaque which was installed when he actually did the Jirnodhar. That's black stone. So it is engraved. The most important antiquity in the whole structure. After the DAT, of course. The structure of the temple was constructed by using laterite stone, but the entrance to the shrine is made of basalt rock. Talking about the discovery, here's what Chamburkar has to say. This is a surprise that in the whole laterite masonry you have this basalt stone. Obviously, it must be done because it covers the entrance. So you have it being a load bearing structure, you need to have the entrance in a proper way so it doesn't. fail more of a logical engineering thing because if you have so much laterite stone it can take load it's not that it can't take load you can you have arches in laterite also but this is more stronger the basalt stone therefore i think they have introduced this as a entrance it is uh, at the sabamantap entrance and the garbhagriha entrance also Apart from restoring the structure, the archaeological department is also working to revive structures in its vicinity. These are newer windows which uh, will be fitted in the window openings. The unique thing is that when you these are the, this is one of the shutters. When you close the shutters also, you can open them and allow the light. Okay, so during the rains also, if you want to close the door shutters, you can allow the light and still the water won't come. So this is a value addition we have done to the uh, structure. Similarly, we have done lot of value addition in even the ceiling which is there in the Gar Sabha Mandap. We lifted it up to allow the light from the clear story. Clear story is that the windows uh, lined along the the longer side of the Sabha Mandap. A lot of brainstorming has gone into discussing the best practices. to make this possible since the team wants everyone to take pride in a history that has resisted several interventions the carving used to be done very with hand so even though it is repetitive there used to be a little crudeness in this so we are trying to retain the crudeness also because but doing it hand also we need to do it a little mechanical now means means it's it 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 needs to be done as a because it is time consuming so we'll have to use some stencils also So now he's applying the paste. So imagine that the white part is the lime plaster. So the process is that uh, scraping out the negative place spaces, which expose the lime, and you retain the design, which is the positive part. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.